We're going to be discussing the idea of graph partitioning. In applications of graph theory, sometimes it can be important to subdivide our graph into two or more independent components. Uh, consider a complicated computer program and uh, with many, many different tasks. Here we have, we have 15 tasks. We have three separate K5 graphs connected in a cycle. Now, suppose each of these nodes represented either a task or a variable and an edge represents dependence between the two. Now, if we wanted to split up these programs, uh, that's something called distributed computing. So if we wanted to, distrib to break up this computation to multiple different machines. Now, distributed computing is fast internally, so each machine can handle the tasks assigned to itself quickly, but then sharing that information between the machines can be slow. Therefore, we want to choose the tasks assigned to each machine to minimize the communications between the machines. So, in essence, what we're asking is, what is the fewest number of edge cuts necessary to divide the graph into as many components as there are machines? So, if we have three machines, then we might see that it's easiest to divide our program to machine one, machine two, and machine three, where we have edge cuts here, here, and there. So understanding this and understanding the idea of bridges can help us design computational architecture, which can be easily divided appropriately to keep distributed computations efficient and fast. So, given a graph which represents a computational architecture, we want to find a minimum edge cut set which disconnects our graph into as many components as machines. And you can see up here we had three machines, so we chose these three edges to separate the graph into these three components.